Hello, and welcome to Japanese Craft Beer Reviews. From today, we're going to begin looking at a whole series of beers from a brewery that we haven't touched on yet, and that brewery is called Baron. And Baron is a brewery in northern Japan in the city of Morioka, Iwate Ken, Iwate Prefecture. And they have been around since 2001. Uh, that was when they were founded. And they uh, are a kind of specialist in German style beers. And they make a variety of those types of beers. And uh, uh, we will look at several of them. Uh, Baron, uh, their name means bear in German and or it's actually the the uh, genitive the uh, uh, possessive form or plural form of bear and they do have a bear on their label and this bear is also uh, standing over a barrel with uh, three traditional beer making tools uh, so uh, very traditional old style European beer making tools. And uh, Baron, their original equipment they bought from Germany and reports are that some of the equipment they bought was actually over 100 years old. Um, and I'm not sure how much of that still exists. Uh, they are uh, a fairly large brewery. They're considered a microbrewery though, but they are pretty big um, and they uh, make uh, several beers every every year. Uh, they have three regulars. Uh, those regulars are their classic beer, which is the first one we will look at, the Baron Classic, which is a Dortmunder style, and a Schwartz beer, and an Alt. So those are their three mainstay beers, but they also make a variety of seasonals uh, throughout the year, and uh, we'll look at uh, uh, about nine of them and mainly German styles. They do produce a variety of others uh, as well, but mainly German styles, and they're famous for that in Japan. Uh, German style beer is a, has a kind of special place in Japan because the original breweries back in the 1800s were uh, staffed or originated by uh, Euro Europeans and especially Germans. And uh, Baron also uses a lot of German ingredients that they import from Germany. Um, and one point about their beers is that uh, while their, their bottled beers are pasteurized uh, to allow them to be shipped you know, around the country, uh, their draft beer is not. So if you go to their uh, uh, restaurant in Morioka, you can drink uh, unpasteurized fresh Baron beer. On rate beer, uh, rate beer lists 104 different beers, individual beers from them, and Untapped has 131, and the Untapped average score is 3.54, a little bit high. So we're going to look at uh, 12 different beers uh, from them, and we will start with their three uh, class, the, the three main beers: the classic, the Schwartz, and the Alt. And let's get going, shall we? Oh, by the way, the bear, the bear that they use as their on their logo uh, is also the official uh, prefectural animal of Iwate Ken, way up in northern Japan, an area where you might come across a bear in the forest. And now we will look at another beer from Baron and. That is this one. It's called Ihatobu Si. And in, in Japanese, this name Ihatobu no Kai, to me, it, it seems to be Russian, uh, like a sea of northern Japan close to Russia or something like that. But actually, it's not. Uh, this Ihatobu refers to a kind of fictional fantasy land in the world of, in the works of uh, Miyazawa Kenji, a uh, Japanese writer who uh, wrote uh, in the early part of the 20th century. And 
a number of his works are set in different parts of uh, Iwate Prefecture, and in fact, Ihatobu is derived from Iwate, uh, which is the prefecture in which Miyazawa lived. And, and uh, I can show you a few, if, I, if you can see this here, he, he, uh, he wrote different, uh, different places that are parts of uh, location, locales in his uh, poems and stories. Uh, he was primarily a poet, uh, but also some stories. And uh, he, uh, for example, you can see the English coast, which is not anywhere near the ocean, uh, and uh, a variety of other places. So uh, apparently there were six places, and then uh, recently another place was added. So um, in any case, these are, uh, uh, Yatob is a kind of fictional area existing in the world of this uh, uh, Japanese writer. And Miyaza, uh, Miyazawa was not really known very well uh, during his lifetime, um, but he, uh, he died quite young, uh, uh, at the age of 37, and uh, he, again, was in this very rural area. He was kind of a utopian. Uh, he worked a lot with farmers and uh, was not really connected to the uh, world of modern literature uh, centered around Tokyo. Uh, so, but he was, his reputation grew after, uh, after his death. And now he's regarded as one of the major Japanese writers of the last century, for sure. Um, in any case, let's get back to this beer here. Uh, it's got a real unusual, cute kind of label. And uh, I assume this is showing some of those seven places. Uh, it's got a, uh, a bear sailor with a beer in front of him on a boat. And uh, this is a Dortmunder export uh, lager style, and it's 5%. Beer. I don't know the international bitter units. On rate beer, it has only one rating, and that was at 3.7 out of 5. On untapped, 14 ratings at 3.64 out of 5, so very similar. Um, this one has sea salt added to it, which is uh, uh, salt is clearly, a, I mean, definitely a feature of, of uh, the style of beer called Gosa. Um, but not too many other styles, I think. And so uh, it should be a kind of interesting, interesting uh, sort of tinge to it. We'll see. Okay, it is a very slightly hazy uh, medium gold straw, a lot of carbonation rising up, uh, and a finger and a half of very fluffy sort of white head. Not much lace. If we put it through the light and see what we get. Okay. All right. And let's try the aroma. Okay, it does smell lagerish, uh, uh, slightly, definitely German, German style malt. Yeah, it uh, tastes like a Dortmunder export. <laughs> uh, the salt. it's there it's kind of hard to tell um, okay in the aftertaste there's something certainly sticking on the tongue mm. very mild very very mild let's see uh, barley hops and okay and table salt well yeah. okay I think it doesn't specify that it's sea salt but it's supposedly sea salt and uh, hmm. carbonation is quite extreme uh, but uh, this is just a mild beer uh, I guess the salt just seasons it a little bit makes the flavors come out uh, 
it's not exceptionally strong, but uh, it's, it's, uh, this is fine, really. There's a little tinge of saltiness near the end, uh, so maybe a kind of gimmick, I guess, for, uh, for uh, tourists or something like that. But uh, uh, Ihatolb is, again, this fictional land and not a sea, so uh, I'm not sure why they, why they called it Ihatolbu Sea. So, in any case, this is a lager uh, Dortmund Air Export from Baron, and you may want to give it a try. It's one of their newer beers. Uh, they brought it out earlier this year, and uh, you can order this on their website if you live in Japan. And uh, if you're up in, in Iwate, way up north there, you can probably try it in several places. It might be different on tap. Okay, good enough for today. And... Uh, we're going to look at a few more barren beers before we move on to other things, and I hope you're along for that. Take care. Bye-bye.